the hymns that I've been posting have been following the theme of Pentecost and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And we've been singing hymns that relate to the primary work of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost and in our lives today, which is to bring illumination and light to our darkened minds, to reveal Father, Son and Holy Spirit, to reveal Christ in his glory and his offices as king and also prophet and priest and to open up to us all the benefits, blessings and promises that God the Father has given to us in him. But this can only be done through the operation of the Holy Spirit and where the Spirit brings illumination and light to our understanding, he also brings what Calvin says is the great work of the Holy Spirit and that is faith. He creates faith in human hearts. Our hearts are naturally full of unbelief and faith is not something we have within our own power to exercise. But the Spirit comes and as he illuminates our minds with the truth, he imparts faith to believe and therefore the grace to receive. And this is what happened on the day of Pentecost. The disciples, the apostles and 3,000 people that day received not only the illuminating grace of the Holy Spirit, but the power to believe and to respond to the offer that whoever believes on the name of the Lord Jesus would be saved. And so this is a, a lovely hymn by Charles Wesley. I've altered a few of the lines in it, uh, but uh, it's more or less as he wrote it. And it's uh, entitled Spirit of Faith, Come Down, Reveal the Things of God and Make to Us the Godhead Known. And this is not only a prayer for someone who's seeking salvation, but it's a prayer for us as believers uh, in our own relationship with God, that as we read the word, as we read the promises of God, that the spirit of faith will come down upon us and enable us to believe. And sometimes God allows us to go through periods where uh, faith is a challenge for us and unbelief seems to rise in our hearts to remind us again that faith is a gift. It's not something we can generate or create within ourselves. It must be imparted by the Holy Spirit. And so our need drives us uh, to God our Father that he will give us the Holy Spirit. As Jesus said, our Heavenly Father will give the Spirit to those who ask him. And so this helps us understand sometimes those dry or difficult periods in the Christian life when God our Father is using them to draw us out again in prayer to him and to remember that if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, we would not be able to exercise faith for one moment, even for one second in our Christian lives. He alone sustains faith in our hearts. Spirit of faith come down Reveal the things of God And make to us the Godhead known And witness with the blood Tis yours the blood to apply Give us eyes to see that he who did for sinners die has even died for me. No one can truly say that Jesus is the Lord unless you take the veil away and breathe the Spirit of faith, this 
cross and reveal the power of his name. God's grace in Jesus give, his saving power impart. Show Christ to all who will receive, enlightened dark and hearts. Inspire the living faith, so those who now believe, your inner witness in their hearts will consciously receive the faith that conquers all and makes the mountain move and saves all who on Jesus call 